Welcome to IPOB Rapture Media. IPOB Press Release, the 11th of June, 2024. No ESN camp was attacked in Arochuku of Abia State. Nigeria Army is just a propagandist. The indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, ably led by the great and indomitable leader Mazi Namdi Okuchuku Kanu, wish to debunk the claims of Nigeria military attacking IPOB ESN camp and killing six ESN operatives by the terrorist Nigeria Army, Abia State Command. This claim is part of the Nigerian Army's blackmail and propaganda against IPOB that should be trashed. All ESN camps are intact. The recent statement from the Nigeria military where they claimed they invaded ESN camp at Igboro Forest, Arochuku in Abia State, indicated that they are clueless and bent on demonizing IPOB, even when the truth is bare to the public. The invaded camp belongs to a group that called themselves Biafran National Guard, BNG. This group have no affiliation with IPOB, ESN. IPOB is not the only group agitating for Biafra. The important question is, why does the Nigeria government and her murderous security forces target IPOB alone? Even when other groups claim responsibility for any violent actions, Nigeria Army will tag their actions on IPOB. The answer is that IPOB is the only genuine group agitating for Biafra freedom and the Nigerian government is much aware. The Nigerian government may have set up and sponsored other Biafra agitators to use their violent activities to blackmail IPOB, ESN movements. For instance, after the Nigerian government dumped the infiltrators they sponsored to terrorize Imo State and her environs, the Nigerian army invaded the camp called Mother Valley Camp in Imo State. After the invasion, the notorious Nigerian army labeled the boldly captioned Liberation Army Valley Camp as ESN Camp just to blackmail IPOB for standing resolute in our self-determination struggle. The latest claim by the Nigerian army of invading and killing some of the armed agitators is one of their blackmail against IPOB on ESN. Whether the Nigerian army invaded the camp or killed the armed fighters has nothing to do with ESN operatives. ESN operatives have no camp in the so-called Igboro Forest and we do not have any affiliation with the BNG armed group. The Nigeria government and her terrorist army should stop misinformation and propaganda against IPOB and ESN. We have said it severely during our press release that the Nigerian government and its security forces don't know how IPOB operates and they will not understand IPOB until Biafra is finally achieved. IPOB volunteers and ESN operatives knew how they operate in Biafra land. They protect Biafrans from harm and never threaten their peace. ESN operatives are under oath not to attack Biafrans, but to protect and defend them from terrorists and soulless criminals. Nigeria military should stop making jest of themselves. They have reduced the Nigerian army institution to propaganda machine in the name of fighting IPOB, in desperation to blackmail IPOB, even when the truth is open to the public has reduced them to a public ridicule. If IPOB leadership decides to equip ESN operatives to combat the Nigerian army, they will not stand the heat. They are just humiliating and intimidating Biafrans because ESN has not received the order to combat them. The coward Nigerian soldiers are flexing muscles in the east and running away from the north where terrorists are neutralizing them like ants. The Nigerian army should be thankful because the IPOB movement decided to toe the part of non-violence in Biafra struggle. The Nigerian government and her murderous security agencies should leave Abia state alone. The agenda is to create a sponsored insecurity in Abia state, like they did in Imo and Anambra states. The Nigerian government has been largely responsible for the insecurity in the east. The latest red flag operation they masterminded on the 30th of May, 2024, by assassinating Igbo soldiers at Aba, was to destabilize the peace and development going on in Aba of Abia State. Abia State Governor must handle this latest red flag operations in Aba with utmost care. The Nigeria government should have known that Ndigbo are wise enough to decode their antics and gimmicks. Stereotyping, profiling and depopulation of Igbo youths is part of the secret policy of the Nigerian government. That's why the Biafra exit from Nigeria is very crucial for the survival and development of Ndigbo. Comrade Emma, powerful media and publicity secretary for IPOB, please don't forget to support the ESN at www.ipob.org.